So I wanted to make a video going through how I use this, which is the, the Breville Barista Pro. Um, I think I can make a pretty good shot of espresso from this. I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting. So um, if you guys have the same machine, you know that it heats up really, really quickly. It doesn't have to, um, you know, you don't have to have it on for several minutes or sometimes 20, 30 minutes in order for it to heat up. You can use it right away. But, you know, the problem with that is then your portafilter is... Uh, not going to be heated up, you know, and like maybe another machine you would put your porta filter in there and it will take, you know, 20, 30 minutes or something. You'll leave it on. Maybe you set a timer before you wake up and um, it'll heat it all up. So instead of doing that, um, what I normally do here, we'll turn it on. I take the porta filter, which um, in this case, I'm using a naked porta filter, uh, you know, 54 milliliters or 54 uh, millimeter um, uh, diameter that uh, it's just useful to see if you're getting channeling or not. Um, so I go ahead and put this in and I normally just pull a single shot and this, I mean, heats up, uh, you know, the parts of the machine, um, but then also heats up the porta filters. So normally I pull one shot all the way through. Um, I dump the water out and then I put the porta filter back in, pull another shot and I leave the water in there. So here I'll, I'll dump that out. Uh, you can do it into a cup as well, but, um, and I'll pull another shot and I'll let that sit there while I'm preparing my beans. Now for the beans, in this case, I'm using, um, uh, just Verve street level. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's the flagship Verve, uh, bean. It was roasted, uh, March 22nd. So, uh, it's currently April 1st. Um, I do use the grinder for this, um, but I single dose it. So I've got my little scale here, turn it on with a little dosing funnel, and I'm gonna do 18 grams. Now I think the Breville um, instructions say that this can be anywhere from 16 to 18. Uh, I haven't played with this too much. I've mostly just been using, using 18 grams. And I've also experimented where um, when I'm doing the single dosing, uh, doing it directly into the porta filter, uh, grinding it into the dosing funnel, which I mean, this is what that's meant for. It's got the little notch here. Um, and then, you know, I can maybe do some fluffing of the, of the grounds before I put it into the porta filter. But um, what I found actually is that this little tool here, which I bought on Amazon, um, which it just kind of locks in, it's a dosing funnel that locks into the porta filter, um, grinding directly into the porta filter with this, uh, I found gives me the best the best results. So now I'm going to take the port filter out um, and then just dry dry this. You want it to be hot, of course, but you also want it to be perfectly dry. So now this thing is hot and dry. I'm going to put the funnel on. Now, this is kind of the most important part, um, is the distribution. Now, you can see that, uh, uh, oh, and, and by the way, um, I should have mentioned this before, but uh, I'm using grind size eight for this particular bean. I found that it has varied. Some beans I've used six, seven. There have been a couple beans where I've gone all the way up to 12, um, but normally I'm in that kind of six to 12 range. Uh, what I typically am looking for with 18 um, grams of ground coffee. I am looking for like 36 grams of water and uh, I want that to take between 30 and 35 seconds. But if you look in here, you can see that there are these clumps here and that is going to cause a little bit of uneven uh, uh, flow through. So a, a little bit of kind of channeling. So um, I got this little tool. I mean, any, you know, this one was quite cheap. I think I spent 20 bucks on it or something. You can even make it yourself. I mean, you've seen people with like wine cork and little needles. And uh, so I just really get in there and I fluff it up all the way from the bottom. Um, so make sure that all these clumps are, are done, uh, you know, get rid of them. And then, um, 
Maybe it's kind of hard to tell. Let me switch over to this side. And then I kind of go around on the edge, more on the top, and just kind of try to even it out a little bit to even out the distribution in terms of where the, the beans are on top. So now, you know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable that the base is pretty well distributed, but I just want to make sure that the top level is distributed evenly. And so now it's, it's pretty reasonable here. Um, and then what I do is I give it a couple taps. And what I'm trying to do is, is collapse any of the little pockets. You don't want to do that too aggressively, but you want to just give it a couple taps to, uh, to do, uh, to do that. Now you can see here though, that it's not necessarily perfectly even. Um, you can try to, with your finger a little bit, even this out as best you can. Um, but then uh, you could just tamp it from here and it would really be fine. Um, what I use is I use this distributing tool here, which I don't know, it was cheap. I bought it on Amazon. They make really expensive ones of these. This one was maybe 20 bucks. And um, I, I do this pattern, uh, I guess, counterclockwise, which causes a, a, the, the, it causes the, the grounds on top to swirl, to, it generates a bit of motion, and then you rotate it clockwise in order to smooth it out. And so that leaves me pretty comfortable that the top um, is now pretty evenly distributed. So now um, you can see what our puck looks like before tamping. And then I just use the built-in tamper. And don't go too crazy with the tamp. And that is now uh, what our puck looks like here. Now, obviously this, this process has taken a lot longer than it normally would for me. Normally this is like two minutes, so this thing's actually cooled down quite a bit. But um, uh, then obviously you just put the, put the port filter in, start it, and uh, now we're looking for that 30 to 35 seconds um, extraction. So it looks like there was one little spurt at the very beginning, but then it settled, and now it's looking like a pretty good extraction. And there we go, 33 seconds. And uh, that's the espresso. So yeah, that one little spurt caused a, a little bit of on the side, but overall, I mean, that's a, it's a very nice shot that we pulled here. So anyway, um, I hope that uh, helps people follow the process that that I use, and hopefully, um, you know, this this machine can make really exceptional, uh, really exceptional espresso. Um, it just takes you know a little a little bit to learn how to do it.